Welcome back to African Tea. Thank you so much for taking on this video. So for the month of August, I'm going to be starting a new series where I just talk to a number of women that I admire and just hear about their passions, just discussing that and learning from them. Today I'll be talking to Esther, who's a photographer and a videographer. I hope you enjoy this video. Um, please enjoy. So um, can you start off by introducing yourself, who you are and what you do? Yeah, uh, so my name is Esther and I, um, I basically do both photography and videography. Um, mm -hmm. Go back from Seattle to Los Angeles. Um, sometimes if I'm not doing photography or video, I, you know, help out with branding for companies for like marketing purposes. Um, and I mean, when I'm not really working, I just, I'm still taking pictures because <laughs> mm -hmm. that's like my passion hobby as well. Um, yeah. I love to travel and um, just learn about, you know, like more about like, coffee and I love tea. So that's pretty much me. And as for photography and videography, um, how did you get into that? Like what drew you to them? Um, so I actually, you know, I've, I've shared this a couple of times, but I started my passion for photography when I went to, actually, I went to Kenya, Africa, um, and I was actually on a, a trip there, like a mission trip, and I discovered my passion by just, you know, I actually bought a very cheap camera at Walmart, and um, I just started taking pictures there and like, you know, just show, just being able to see people's emotions through, you know, a camera, it really uh, made me want to take more pictures mm -hmm. um, in the future, and it just became my, my job as well. Um, and my profession so it all really started from then like that was back in 2010 oh. um, and that also made me fall in love with traveling as well and how old were you then I was 21 21 20 yeah 21 so you discovered your passion for photography and videography during that trip to Kenya how did it become a profession like how did that transition flow so um basically you know with all those photos that i took i wanted to show my friends and families and back then i used facebook a lot so i would post on facebook and my my family members and my friends they saw them and they you know told me i feel we feel like you have potential in doing photography um and also my husband he wanted he kind of helped me go into this career um Back then, I, I knew it was like one of my passions, but I didn't really know how I can transition into this like profession. So he kind of helped me out. But at the same time, my friends who owned small businesses back then, like trying to start a clothing line, um, they asked me if I can take some photos for them. So, you know, just taking pictures of models and like clothes and all that, it kind of got me into more of the fashion photography side. Mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of how I started. Um, yeah, but right now I'm doing fashion photography and focusing more on like interior okay. and traveling is not really, it's, it's dying down because of COVID, but yeah. <sighs> well, hopefully you can go out soon. Um, but on your page, I notice a lot more nature photography or mm -hmm. is that more recent or is it just what you do once in a while? um nature that's probably once in a while um oh. i am trying to sell more prints as well okay uh, so nature is more I, i'm just trying to learn how to appreciate things that are just kind of around me right now yeah uh, I, i'm trying to tell myself i don't have to go anywhere far to you know take pictures you know everything around me it's like picturesque and I'm trying to learn to appreciate yeah. that yeah so what is, um, what was the first place you traveled to? Like, do you remember? Firstly for like leisure. Um, yeah. I think it would be Korea. It's, oh. Cause I'm, yeah, I'm Korean. Um, Korea was probably one of the first places I went by myself. Okay. Um, I wanted to learn more about the culture and also my family members are there. Mm -hmm. So That's Korea cool. would be the first place. Where in Korea? Uh, Seoul. Oh, oh. Yeah. yeah, I really love so I visited last December and I really enjoyed it. Oh, you went? Yeah, yeah. so that's really fun. What did you like about Seoul? Um, the public transport is super easy to maneuver because like here in Joe, well, Pretoria, 
in Pretoria, South Africa, it's really hard to get public transport. So you heavily rely on Uber and Uber is quite expensive. So there the transport is affordable and yeah. easy to um, maneuver. And also there are a lot of places to see like like um, Yombokan's palace was so pretty. Oh and yeah, I love that place. It was also easy to go out of town as well. I visited mm -hmm. John Jonju and oh, John. Oh. Yeah, and Donghe. Yeah. So yeah, it's really nice. I don't know. It's just have this energy. Yeah. Uh-huh. I think that's one reason how we kind of connected. I think it was through my career trips and I you oh, commented was, on something, I feel like. Yeah. It was on your um you someone asked what your what music you listen to. Oh I think you said elevation worship cold and something else and I was like, Oh my gosh, I like all three of those. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember now. Okay. <laughs> That's awesome. And then, um, so tell me a bit about your trip to Seoul. Like, what was most memorable? Mm, trip to Seoul. You know, I think there's just so many things to see there. I, mm -hmm. I get inspired like every corner I go in Seoul. Um, I think, especially for my friends and you know cousins and you know like family that live there, mm -hmm. they see that every day. So. For them, it's just more of like a fun lifestyle, but they don't really see like what I'm really inspired by. But to me, it's, I don't know, I, even like it comes down to like the little fonts and mm -hmm. just even <clears throat> uh, the materials that they use to, you know, make the buildings. And I just look at everything. So I think Korea is just, they're so good at, you know, just with like design and art. And yeah. I don't know, everywhere I go, I get very inspired. Yeah. Yeah. It's very oh, it's food. And food, yes. <laughs> it's very aesthetically pleasing. Um, yeah, and the food's really good as well. Mm -hmm. There's still a balance. Even though there's a lot of Korean food, you can still easily find Western food as well, like if you get tired. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I agree. Um, yeah, so what is your favorite place you traveled to other than Korea? Mm, Peru. Peru, mm. uh, yeah, so Machu Picchu. It's probably one of, um, it's, it's very epic. <laughs> I still feel like when I imagine that place, it just feels unreal. I remember standing there and just looking out and I felt like I was just like looking at a green screen. No, I'm not saying that like looked fake, but yeah. it's just so epic that I, I couldn't believe that I was there. Yeah, very surreal. Yeah, yeah surreal. Mm -hmm. Was there any other country in Africa that you visited besides Kenya? No, I actually, no, just Kenya. Oh, okay. Um, but I think my place would be Rwanda. Rwanda. Oh, cool. Yeah. And I remember you saying you wanted to visit Cape Town. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cape Town, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think Definitely. Cape Town is probably my favorite destination ever. Oh, so yeah. you've been there? Um, I lived there for about two years. Oh, okay, okay. Can I ask where you're originally from? Um, well, my dad is South African, and my mom's mm -hmm. from Botswana. Botswana is just oh. next to South Africa. Yeah. So okay, that, cool. Like dual nationality. Yeah. 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 Nice. And you're um Korean American, right? Mm -hmm. Korean American. Um, back again to photography. Are there any photographers that you really admire and also photographers that you think deserve more recognition? Mm, like a photographer or just like, uh, like a photographer, photographer or videographer? Ooh. Um, you know, I'll be honest, it's really hard to say because there's just so many talented people out there. Yeah. Uh, I, I honestly have to say, like, a lot of my friends that do photography and video, I feel like they need more, I think they deserve more, like, recognition. There's just so many talented people. And um, I think one thing I feel like it sucks is, you know, I think coming from just being part of, like, you know, the social media world, too, um, I think sometimes people do look at, like, you know, the numbers. And for me, I, I mean, I get it from like a brand standpoint, but at the same time, I feel like 
Um, sometimes people are super talented. They just don't get enough recognition because of, you know, like the amount of followers that they have or like, you know, just who they know. And like, I, I personally, I'm just, I, I don't think that's fair. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I also get that it, it is reality, but um, I wish there was a different way for, for just talented people to be more recognized. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Because even on yeah. YouTube, there's so many channels that are so, like they have quality content and just mm -hmm. so impactful, but then the subscribers they have on as much to like, and then people like measure the value based off the subscribers mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's pretty much it. Um, unless there's something else you want to talk about or share. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I think if there's just one thing, um, it, I, I just want to be very like honest on, you know, with you and just myself too. But I think right now I've just been going through probably the most difficult time of like my career. And I'm sure everybody is going through that with their business because of COVID and stuff um, or the pandemic. Um, and as of now, I, I don't really know like, where I'm going towards with my career um so I think I'm just I, I think I'm always going to enjoy my passion for photography and video um but it's, it's just been a struggle <laughs> I can definitely relate to that that's just been me since since I finished high school just trying to figure out where exactly I'm going with my career yeah. but I feel like once you find your passion um mm -hmm. just like ask God like what your purpose is and ask him how to use that passion to like I don't know find your career and like impact more lives I think that's one thing that yeah. helped me keep going forward a little bit slowly just like yeah. looking to God for guidance is like how am I going to use this passion to actually make a living and just like go forward yeah 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 finding purpose in life yeah mm -hmm. the real purpose yeah. I, I always thought, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. And like, how, like, in this process of like trying, not knowing where you're going, how do you um, find ways to cope with it or just like to stay safe? Mm -hmm. um, I, I actually do um, and devotionals. Mm -hmm. um, I have like this Bible app when I, not that I am saying that I only go to it when I am having a hard time, but it, it is natural for me to open up my app when, you know, like things are hard. And I feel like rather than turning to negative things, I feel like turning to God is kind of like the most important, not kind of, but it is the most important. We should be, I should be looking, you know, more towards that than him. Um, so it's been kind of helping and also like exercising and also talking to other peers that are struggling um and kind of helping each other out more of a more of like a community um kind of work it really does help yeah i'll definitely try those out as well <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. i can recommend you some yeah thanks okay well thank you so much for being yeah. taking the time to be here um it was great talking to you thank okay. you Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know what you thought of this episode and be sure to look forward to the upcoming, the next episode next week.